Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today we'll be doing part three of the build video for the GB XT10 kit, which was sent in for review by Gearbest. And in part one and part two, we did the full build of it, so it is now fully flight ready. Well, not fully, um, fully built to be flight ready, but now we have to configure the ESCs and the flight controller to get it fully flight ready. So first we'll be taking a look at the ESCs, which are the DYS XS20 or XS30 amp actually. So we'll be taking a look at them in BL Heli Suite and updating the firmware. And then we'll move on to flashing beta flight as well as setting all the correct parameters. So let's get to that. All right, so here we are in the BL Heli Suite. And sorry for this camera view, but um, I'm having to use a Windows computer to use BL Heli Suite as it is not currently supported on Mac. So we have it open here and we're just gonna go ahead and plug in the quad. Um, you need to make sure you have the correct interfaces set up, but I'm not gonna go over that in this video. Um, look up Joshua Bardwell Clean Flight Pass Through if you wanna figure out how to do this. So I'm plugging in the quad with the USB only, no um, power to the ESCs. So we get that there, and now we're gonna come down here and hit connect. See, hit connect right there. Wait a moment, and it should say multiple ESC down here, multiple ESC. So go ahead and plug the quad in, and make sure your props are off. Make sure your props are off, because things can go bad. So there we have the quad plugged in. ESC's made some beeps, and now go over here to read setup right here. Wait for it to do its little thing, and you can see. Okay, so these are running 16.2. Uh, this is... Um, BL Heli S, since these are BL Heli S ESCs, it should detect automatically. And you can see the configurator um, turn to a pinkish color. So let's see, motor direct, okay. Let's see if there's any, there might not actually be anything we need to set in here. Um, let's see. Temperature protection, I'm gonna turn off. Startup power, I'm gonna up one more. Beep strength, I like to go to 45. Beacon delay, two minutes. Hmm, okay, and the min, I'm gonna go down to 1000, and max, I go to 2000. Um, okay. I think that's good there, so now we're gonna hit, uh, okay, we're gonna go down here and hit right setup. You can see there, and it should write it to all the ESCs. And in a second here, there we go, write OK. So actually, I think we might not need to do, let me go to the motors. I think it has motor breaking off, or on, I mean. So, all right, is it going to let me do it through here? No, it's not. Okay, so let's just disconnect all this and get into the Betaflight configurator. All right, so here we are in the beta flight configurator. So first we're gonna want to plug the quad in. And if you haven't downloaded um, these drivers, you're gonna need um, some of these drivers to get um, beta flight talking to your quad flight controller. So there's plenty of videos on YouTube if you haven't set this up. So go take a moment and get that done. Then once you're done, come back to this. So I'm gonna go to firmware flasher and let this screen load up here. So it has already detected that it's the SP Racing F3 board. So now we're gonna go choose a firmware version. If we come down here, so we're gonna go to 3.00. 3.01 is actually out, but I'm not sure the release notes for that. So let's see, no reboot. Get rid of that. Um, take the manual, the baud rate down. And then let's hit load online. That should be good there. We shouldn't have to boot the board. All right, there we go. It loaded the file here. Just make sure SPF3 3.0. Okay, and let's hit flash firmware. No response, okay, let's turn that off. No response, let's turn this off. Um, there we go, okay. So make sure no reboot sequence is off, I can never remember. So with these SP boards. Welcome screen and hit connect. So there we are. So if you remember in the build, if you haven't seen, um, we didn't mount the board straight forward. So if you see it here, I have it facing away. 
and if I tilt it down, you can see it's not the front is not moving incorrect. You see it's it's pitching forward, but I'm rolling left, so that's incorrect. So we're gonna have to change that. Um, so if you are gonna use the accelerometer, go up here and hit calibrate accelerometer. I'm only using it to make sure I have the board alignment correct first. So I'm gonna go to configuration just to make sure. Let's try 90 degrees on yaw. Let's see if that fixes the problem here. Nope, okay, so it's now 180 degrees backwards, so let's try 270 here in the yaw degrees alignment. And let's try this now. Okay, there we go. So everything is now working, as you can see right here. So we're good to move on. So I'm going to go to ports. Since I'm using the X4R SB, it should be Serial RX on UART3. Hit OK there. It's good. It's saved. So um, we're going to be using, uh, what is it, one shot. These ESCs are one shot 42, I believe. Let's try that out. One shot 42 there. I don't have multi shot on them. So, okay, there we go. Minimum value. Um, I'm just going to put this up to 1100 just for right now, just to make sure. Okay, so RX serial over here. And make sure you click X, S bus. Go down. Um, for the board, I'm going to put it at 4K, 2K. And I'm going to turn the accelerometer off. If you're using the accelerometer, you might have to go 2K, 2K depending on your CPU load. I'm going to turn black box off. Let's see, air mode I want on permanently as a feature. And craft name, GBX210. Save and reboot right there. And now let's look to see if everything's good for right now. 4K, 2K. All right, so let's go to fail safe. Um, fail safe. Uh, I'm gonna want this to 0.4 here, and what do I want 0.4 as well? And I want it to drop. So it's save and reboot. Why didn't this change? Oh, I need to do actually four. All right, and save there. Can't do 0.4. Okay, so PID tuning. Um, I'm not gonna change anything right away besides my rates. I like to have these rates at 1.1 and 80 gives me 1100 degrees per second which is pretty decent and I like to bump this down to right there so or maybe maybe I leave it up I don't remember okay uh, good enough TPA is fine at 15 and hit save there for the PID tuning I'll have to obviously fly it before I tune it receiver we're gonna skip for right now I'm going to skip this as well. So we're going to hit our motors right here. So click the I understand button and plug in your battery without your props on. Make sure your props are off or else you're going to be bleeding. All right, there we go. And now let's click on the master with our key and just tap the up arrow key until the motors start to spin. Actually, hold on. I have to... I shouldn't have set the... Um, Thing to 1100 because that's going to screw things up. So let's just go back to a thousand and then go back to the motors. So we click up. Okay. So now let's click up until the motors start to spin here. Why are the motors not spinning? Let me unplug. Why do they want to be calibrated? I didn't. I wanted to do that manually through BL Heli, but all right. I guess if they want to calibrate through here, I'll accept it. So now let's tap up until the motor starts to spin. As you can see, that's happening right there. In BL Heli SESCs are very smooth and spin at very low RPMs. So if you can look at that there, hopefully I don't know if you can see it too well on camera, but. These are spinning at really low RPMs. Like this one over here is spinning this fast. It literally is spinning that slow. So these are they're starting up at 1020. We don't want them to drop out. So I'm gonna put them up to 1035 just to be sure. 
So go back to configuration and we'll put in 1035 here. Okay. Everything's good there. So that's good. Now let's go to the modes tab here. Okay, and turn Welcome on the radio. To open TX. So I've got my Tyrannus on here and we're gonna click arm. It should be on aux one. Yep, here I swept my I set my switch up on channel five, so aux one. So we're gonna drag this over to here, so that when the switch is in the desired position, it will this little um, thing here, this dot, will be in this highlighted range. And there's nothing else here. I've already got air mode turned on permanently. I've got no accelerometer, so no auto level of features. So that's really the only thing I need to set up. It really simplifies things when you don't have to use all that crap. Okay, so everything else should be good so we can go back to our receiver and just check to make sure all our endpoints are good. Tyrannus is a little bit high, 2011 and 987, but you can see all my channels are centering pretty well. Let's try a dead band of two to quiet up that roll, maybe a little bit. Mm, looks like it helped a little. Alright, oh, I'm getting my uh, warning here, so actually I think that should be good. So let's unplug the battery right here. Let's disconnect from the thing, the configurator. Let's plug our battery back in. Okay, I'm going to unplug from the computer. Let's try an arm. So yep, you can see my motors do arm, and let's check they're all spinning the correct way just by feeling them. Yep, they're all spinning the correct way, and let's check some inputs. Left yaw, right yaw, roll. So yeah, auto uh, ESC braking is already on. I guess with BL Heli S, it's not an option to turn it off, because it really shouldn't be. But everything looks good. And if you're wondering if you can hear that there, you hear how the motors are um, revving up. I see this so many times in so many different groups on Facebook and Betaflight, people thinking they have an issue, but that is just air mode doing its job. It is trying to stabilize the craft and, you know, give you keeping control, but you don't have props on, so it can't, it's not, it's trying to make changes and it's not feeling any changes in the gyros, so it tries to make the changes harder, so it just keeps revving more and more and more. So don't worry about that. If it does it, that's 100% normal. It You should be expecting it to do that after you raise the throttle a little bit and give it a little flick so you know that's just 100 percent normal so actually i think we are fully done with the setup here let me let me turn my radio on welcome to right the here throttle warning. let's try and arm it and it's not wanting but there it goes and now let's uh put the throttle up just a little bit and i'm going to shut my remote off Let's see if the failsafe works. Okay, there we go. It cut it within a second there, so the failsafe is all working fine. So there we go. That was the third part, part three of the GBX210. So very little change in the ESC, thanks to BL Heli S coming pretty much set up with the right settings. Very little change here, and in beta flight, pretty simple setup. I'll be doing a, a maiden line of sight flight, and then the tuning video, PID tuning in general. Focusing specifically on this copter will be coming up later, um, but yeah, it looks like a really nice kit I'm really excited for these ESC's and components all together. I think it's pretty awesome It's weighing like 580 grams with the uh, SJ cam or GoPro on there So pretty decently light frame with uh, light components, and I really like it um, Please subscribe if you aren't already I'll leave a link down below to my patreon to check out if you wish to support the channel You like what I do in the videos you find them helpful, please leave any questions you have down below and I'll try and help you out. And I'll leave a link down below to part one and part two which covered the build. So yeah, please subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye.